Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Team Up Elite Trainer Box. This item is brand new. Team Up is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. I did purchase this item from Target for $39.99. This box includes 8 Team Up Booster Packs, 65 card sleeves featuring Pikachu and Zekrom, 45 energy cards, and then a whole host of other items to start playing the Pokemon TCG. Just the one Elite Trainer Box available for Team Up. Sometimes sets have two different Elite Trainer Boxes. So the plastic wrap is off of the box. And here's a look at what the back looks like. You can see all the items on the inside like I just described. The way that you open this box is you just slide the cardboard off of the box on the inside. On the right, you can see what the illustration, the artwork looks like when you take the cardboard off of the Elite Trainer Box. And then on the left is the player's guide that comes inside the Elite Trainer Box. It has a checklist as well as images of all the cards in the set. All you have to do is you just pull the top right off and there's everything that is on the inside. First up would be all eight booster packs. I have seen some Elite Trainer Box openings have very good pulls, hoping mine is just like that. The online TCG code card for the box. The card dividers, if you'd like to store your cards in the Elite Trainer Box, front and back, very similar. A high quality GX marker, as well as burn and poison markers. Damage counters, and then a coin flip die. The 45 energy cards, really like the look of the newly designed energy. And then the 65 card sleeves featuring Zekrom and Pikachu. Started off here with my favorite tag team GX and team up, Eevee Snorlax. Just a big fan of those two Pokemon. Plus, the card is pretty competitive. Four and two would be the card trick. First pack here starts with Nidoran, Pancham, Voltorb, Klefki, Charmander, Fighting Type Energy, Dragonair, Ingo and Emmet, Charmeleon, Reverse Hollow. Of a Charmander, still would love to pull that Charizard in Reverse Hollow form. Charmander is just a common. And the final card would be a Salabi and Venusaur GX. So first pack, great pull here in a Tag Team GX. This was the first deck that I faced when Team Up was legal to play in the online TCG. I was destroyed with my Zoroark Control deck. Mimikyu Gengar pack now. My opponent had Celebi and Venusaur and then I believe had four Shaman on their bench. Shamans from Lost Thunder has an ability that allows you to heal 20 damage from a Pokemon. Ponyard starts the second pack here. Staryu, Hone Edge, Weedle, Dratini, Darkness Type Energy, Cosmolem, Hitmonchan, Jasmine, Reverse Hollow of a Pokemon Communication, one of the best trainer cards in the set. This would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Pangoro. Now when it comes to the rares in this set, would love to pull out Charizard, even a rare non-holo. Aerodactyl is also very good. Rare holo wise, Jirachi and then Erica's Hospitality, two cards that I would like to pull. Zapdos is also not bad. Next pack here starts with Ponyard, Staryu, Hone Edge, Weedle, Dratini, Fire Type Energy, Alolan Graveler, Nita, Tauros, Reverse Solo of a Hitmonchan, Uncommon, and the final card would be a Cobalion GX. Wasn't expecting that at all. Two GX pulls so far in this Elite Trainer box. Now I am happy to see Cobalion as a GX. It has been a while, I believe, since Cobalion has been an ultra rare in a set. Celebi Venusaur pack now. Take a look at the code. This one starts with Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Paris, Fairy Type Energy, Rapidash, Return Label, Kangaskhan, Reverse Solo of a Pupitar, which would be an uncommon, and the final card would be a Blastoise. 
So both Blastoise and Charizard, the two featured Pokemon for the theme decks and team up. Eevee Snorlax pack again. Four different Prism Star cards in team up. Shaman and Tapu Koko, the two that I would like to pull most. Joltix starts this one. Blitzel. Squirtle. Tentacool. Paris. Lightning type energy. Kangaskhan. Nidorina. Sabrina's Suggestion, one of 10 different Full Art cards available in this set, Full Art Trainers. Kabuto would be the Reverse Hollow, Uncommon, and the final card would be an Alolan Muck. Of course, the Alolan Muck from Sun and Moon Base Set, very competitive, has the ability on it turning off all basic Pokemon's abilities. Two more packs to go after this one. Would love to get one more great pull. It may happen here. Mankey to start the pack. Litten. Himolga. Mareep. Vulpix. Grass-type energy. Golduck. Grass memory. Kakuna. Reverse hollow of a Bisharp, which is a rare. And the final card looks to be a rare hollow. It would be an Eveltal. And this is one rare hollow. It seems like... I always pull out. That has happened to me in some other sets out there. Second to last pack now. Mankey to start it. Litten. Emolga. Mareep. Vulpix. Water type energy. Morgan. Flaffy. Jinx. Reverse solo of a Jasmine, which would be an uncommon. And the final card here would be an Alolan Executor. Tropical Shake is a great move. You can use this card with Shuckle and then accelerate energy to the discard pile to do more with Tropical Shake on Alolan Executor. Final pack in this Elite Trainer box. Would love to get something good, some last pack magic. Does not look like that will be the case. Still happy with the pulls. A couple of Ultra Rares. Final pack here starts with Nidoran, Panchan, Voltorb, Klefki, Charmander, Psychic Type Energy, Tauros, Persian, Metal Goggles, Reverse Solo of an Alolan Geodude, just a common, and the final card would be a Starmie. And this is a pretty good card overall. It has a free retreat cost and that can accelerate water and psychic energy to one of your Pokemon. So I can summarize my pulls now. Four good cards to summarize. Out of the eight total packs, I was able to pull one rare reverse solo in Bisharp, one rare hollow in Eveltal, and two regular GX. Cobalion, I do like the looks of this GX, it really stands out. And then Celebi and Venusaur. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.